Now, in a previous video, I discussed what was going on in South Dakota. If you haven't seen the video, I'm going to discuss it once again right now. In South Dakota, the voters voted on Initiative Measure 22. Initiative Measure 22 was an anti-corruption law. The anti-corruption law itself was made to create visibility for political funding to decrease corruption. It also put limits on the amount of uh, the amount of donations that legislators could receive from certain corporations. This, all in all, was a pretty decent law to have in place. And the voters of South Dakota came out and voted for it, and they won at 51%. But now that it's got, gone through the ballot, what the South Dakota legislators are doing is they issued a state of emergency to try and get rid of the law, which in itself is pretty corrupt. By doing the state of emergency, what they're doing is they're trying to get rid of the ability of voters to repeal the action to make it rat actually ratify. Now, a lot of people don't know what to do. Uh, I suggested boycotting the legislators, uh, creating a new petition. I've created a petition myself, and you can find it in the link below. This is a whitehouse.gov uh, petition. By signing it, once you get a certain amount of signatures, the federal government has to at least issue a response and tell us what they view it and how what they think. And hopefully, if we get enough signatures, Congress will itself act and force them to enforce the new law that South Dakota citizens clearly showed that they wanted. If you have any questions about the law or any comments about it, please leave it below. Or if you have any questions of what else could be done. I also suggested that you contact your congressman and your House of Representatives members, as long as your mayor and everyone else involved. Now, a couple congressmen, uh, not congressmen, a couple legislators have already quit just because this law passed. This shows that, there's, that some people are getting scared by this law, which is a good thing because this shows that it's working, that the people are starting to take control and they don't want to be held responsible for their actions. This law would decrease lobby, lobbying. There are a couple bad parts in the law. Uh, the funding involved is pretty extreme in the way that they did it. I, I would have thought of something different, like uh, the $50 credits. Maybe it should have been a little bit different in the way they did it, but it still could work. And it's something that voters in South Dakota could work on and they could improve upon this over time. But if they just stop the law completely, it's not going to go anywhere. The biggest thing that definitely needs to be passed, and this should be in all states, is the complete visibility of all political funding. And that's an important step in stopping corruption, not just here in the United States, but everywhere by seeing what corporations are trying to buy us out because they're probably doing the same thing in other countries. Uh, if you're interested in signing the petition, it is a whitehouse.gov petition, like I said before. Uh, so if you get a certain amount of signatures, they have to say something. The federal government has to at least make a statement. And it's important that they do this because then it shows, uh, it, gives, it gives everyone knowing what they're doing, what their plans are, what they think about it, and it, it increases media coverage of what's going on, and it alerts citizens of the United States about what's going on, increasing, you know, general awareness of it. Uh, like I said, if you agree, disagree, uh, leave a comment below, give it a thumbs up or thumbs down. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe. Uh, Y'all have a good day.